We now have Professor Adebayo Kolawale of the Federal University of Agriculture, Abiyokuta. He joins us virtually. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. What's your assessment of the ranking with just two Nigerian universities making the first 2,000 universities in the world? Oh, well, uh, I'm not surprised. Um, the world ranking of universities it is an indication of the university, the universality of university education. That is, anywhere you are in the world, the concept of university as the uh, base for collecting and proving on human knowledge is universal. So I'm not surprised that uh, Nigerian universities are the way they are in that ranking. But we need to take that kind of ranking with note of caution. Uh, the most of caution is to the extent that if you are comparing a grandfather with his grandchild, then there will be challenges on why the grandfather is wrinkled and the great grandchild is not wrinkled. Because wrinkling is also a function of age. So uh, when you compare Oxford with uh, Dutsi, uh, um, I, I might just um, uh, uh, yeah, just, it, it, just to uh, get a clarification. Available in terms of mode. Just to get a clarification, no. you're, you're saying old and uh, new, but the, the thing you called it um, uh, higher learning, improving on learning. So why is it that the older wine should be sweeter, they evolve and grow to better the younger one? So why are we uh, still so far behind? In universities in South Africa made the list. Yes, but you are talking of universities in South Africa, not universities in Nigeria. So we are, they are not like for like. Basically, it, it, the South African government, for instance, will not go into the accounts of a South African university and pull it into a treasury single account. The board of governors will object and sue the government for that. But that happens with impunity in Nigeria. So in that kind of situation, we are not comparing like for like because it's an input-output relationship. So why is our, our, is our, our, our universities not fighting the government as well so that they can retain some level of dignity and prestige um, in, uh, in such rankings? Now, this is where you find ASU playing the role that uh, governing councils of universities should have been played. But you see, you have to look at structure. There's a structural problem. In the governing council of the universities, uh, the government have an automatic majority. And that is a problem. So when you have an independent governing council, a governing council whose decision is not reliant on the goodwill of the government in power, when they will be able to stand up to government and say, look, this is our university. We are entrusted. We are entrusted with this university, and therefore we have to be able to uh, be allowed to perform our function. Oh, okay. Um, ASU, you, you mentioned, is doing the work yeah. that others should be doing. But ASU is blaming it all on the budgetary allocation of 6% instead of 26% recommended by the UNICEF. Is that enough excuse for this um, uh, really poor performance by Nigerian universities? I, I think that's a major part of it. Look at many of these universities we are comparing us with have... Um, financial resources in the millions. Let me give you an example at the PhD level. In a UK university, for instance, a PhD, uh, a PhD candidate will spend not less than 20 million pounds. In Nigeria, a PhD student, when you ask for one million naira, everybody will shout. In fact, the House Committee on Education will summon the vice chancellor to come and explain himself. The one million naira compared to 20 pounds. It's like peanuts. And so this is the kind of thing that we are not looking at the input-output relationship. And I'm not making an excuse for the poor performance of, of universities in Nigeria in the world ranking. I'm not saying that there are things we ought to place, and it's a collective responsibility. 
All right. In, in specific terms, let's look at solutions now. What are some of the uh, things, or should I say decisions, steps, and the likes that we should be taking, not just to improve on our ranking, but to improve on the quality of education? Because that should be the priority. Um, ranking should just be um, an icing on the cake. I agree totally with that. So what should we do? I think the, the starting point is in our budgetary allocation. A paltry 5%, 6% to education shows the relative importance that we put on education compared to uh, the National Assembly, for instance. The, 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 the budgetary allocation to education should clearly surpass what we spend on our National Assembly because that is more uh, relevant to sustainability of our nation than the National Assembly. That's one, one place to start it. The second is that the autonomy that we have granted the university, we need to allow them to enjoy this autonomy. Now, nothing comes to, to whom much is given, much is expected. If you then give them the freedom to operate this autonomy, then you have a body like AUC that is entrusted with quality assurance. Get them to do their job. So if you give a university in Nigeria autonomy to operate, and it's going ultraviolet by beyond the um, powers that you're giving it, there's the function of NUC as the quality control agencies to say, look, this is not what it ought to be. So for instance, issues like our um, uh, staff ratio, issues like our presence on the uh, global platform, internet platforms, these are things that NUC should be the unbiased arbiter to say, well, this university does not have this. You need to provide it by the next time we come to check you. So that's very important. Three, people talk about corruption, but we have rules against corruption. So if a university administrator, for instance, and that's what the university's money, you don't need any special law to take that person to court and jail them. Only that's uh, there is a there is a, a research institute whose uh, head uh, was sent to jail for financial malpractice. You haven't asked for any union fighting to say don't do that. So, for whom much is given, much is expected. expected. We need to increase our education. We need to allow the university autonomy to uh, put into practice. Then we need to have our uh, uh, checks and balances. In All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Professor. You've given us some things to think about. Do enjoy the rest of your day.